cuts off because I ran out of memory. Okay, it's recording. All right, so we're setting coil line. On mine, I have to put the, well, you put the collars in. Center your spring up on, in the vise. And you're just gonna crush the spring until it stops. Oh, honey. Yeah, no, now it's re right, re recording. So he just put it in there. All right, so, and I stop right there. So you could do this with uh, with calipers. You don't need a micrometer. Three sixty. So we're going to write down front intake is one point three sixty. to subtract the thickness of my collars so that one is 80 minus 0 0.080 36 37 Minus point oh thirty seven. <coughs> That's on the intake. Okay, brother. I'll be back. Okay, no need for threats. We're neighbors. <laughs> <coughs> Wind up the exhaust. One point three forty six. Front exhaust is one point three forty six. You know, you need one of those like um, head thingies. I like them uh, GoPros. Yeah. But the the head is like a something. is my high all right so let's keep these exhaust intake 
Now, push pause. There you go. Okay, so for the uh, front intake coil bind, uh, we end up with just the spring coil bound is 1.243. So I had to subtract the collar thicknesses. Okay, to get the uh, spring coil bind is 1.243. You add um, 50 thousandths, um, 0 0.050 for uh, clearance. And then you add 0.490, which is my cam lift. And I get 1.783, okay? So we did the same thing for the uh, front exhaust. Um, same numbers, you know same math and my coil bind for the exhaust is 1.768 pause so i'm going to take my intake side Okay, put this test spring on, oh, exhaust side, Okay, so now what we do is you can take a scale like this, six inch scale, it's in thousandths of an inch. And I'm gonna go on the collar, I'm measuring between collars. So I have 1.8, 20, 20 or 30, something like that. But to be sure, I can take a depth mic So I got to burn two on this depth mic, one, two. So it's actually 1.75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 1.8, 1.888. So we'll go 1.888. Minus that top collar thickness, which is 0 0.079. Hmm. Did I do that right? Seems more than that. Point oh eighty five. Okay. So So one point eight oh nine. So I'm at one point eight oh nine right now. So we're gonna take one point eight oh nine. What was that? The intake? No, that's the exhaust. So one point eight oh nine minus my uh, coil bind which is 1.768, 1.768 oh, um, equals 1. It is almost reached for capture size. 4, 0, 0. So I get 41,000. So 41,000 is the shimming.
that I need to put under that um, bottom collar uh, in order to achieve this 1.6 or 768. Is that what that says right there? Okay, so the shim thickness I need is 0 0.041. <clears throat> Closest I can get to it is 0 0.044. So I'm 3 thou over, not a big deal. That eats up my 3 thou from my 50 thou um, tolerance clearance. So that clearance is now uh, 47 thousandths. So this set of shims is going here. And. on the intake nine twenty for two twenty five thirty twenty nine twenty eight one point nine twenty eight so over here we have 1.928 minus um, collar thickness 0 0.080 equals 8 4 that comes to 8. So 1.848 is the space between these two collars, 848. So we'll just get an eyeball. I use a depth mic, so that's gonna be super accurate. And I get about 1.850, because it's between 1.840 and 1.860. So I'm gonna go with the, everything is right. Okay, so. 1.848 is the, with this math, is distance between this collar and this collar. Now, my coil bind is 1.787. So minus 1.787, that's a one. 14, that becomes a six, that's a zero, and that's a zero. So I need 61 thousandths of shim to achieve this 1.787. Coil bind, so 0 0.061. See what we got. That's 72. I wonder if that thing will get to get you. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with the fourth out under instead of reducing my uh, instead of reducing my 50 thou tolerance I'm going to gain 4 thou so now I have 54 thou <coughs> clearance of coil binding between them for error expansion whatever so this set of shims goes there this is an extra and we'll put that on my shim stock pause all right so now test spring out the way bottom collar Keepers. This is just what I like to do to stay organized. What? But it? Oh, you're fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's the intake. You want the bucket over here? And then, yeah. This is just the OCD in me. Good to be LCD when you're doing stuff like this. And to record. To record. Yeah. <laughs> Turn on your before start and up after. Your engine. 
intake exhaust. So that's done. So that is uh, setting coil bind. Okay. Stop it. Yep. Okay, let's see if I can show you this. I uh, <clears throat> ported the heads and polished the combustion chamber. Um, I stoned out imperfections in the combustion chamber. Then I polished it. Um, let's see. Trying to get a good shot. So this is the exhaust side. That's the exhaust port. There's another shot of the port. That's exhaust. There's the intake. Okay, so you'll notice there's tooling marks I left in the intake. Uh, and I polished the heck out of the exhaust. <clears throat> That's on purpose. Uh, you don't really want to polish the intake port. Um, the tooling marks uh, will help with uh, atomization. Um, so what I did was... I took the intake flange and then I took the intake manifold and bolted them together like so and then I, I shot some dicum in there uh, or actually I, I painted dicum on there bolted it up inscribed went in went inside my manifold inscribed where the manif where the inside diameter of the manifold meets this face so that way that way I would know how much I can open this up um, I did that to both sides matched them uh, and that's that so I did not uh, record porting because I was by myself and it's, it's kind of impossible to do unless you have a good camera set up. I have a GoPro but haven't figured out how to use it yet. So that's that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.